Well, Nathan, we were standing in your office and I was kind of looking <laughs> at all your cool posters of Indiana Jones and Star Wars and yeah. Marvel, but I noticed something popped up on your screen where you kind of go, oh, something just happened. What happened there? Well, so this was, uh, yeah, a little unexpected, but it's part of manufacturing. So what happened is we were looking at the machines. You know, I, I tend to keep an eye on them on the side. We have monitors up around. Um, and we triggered a, a TMAC alarm. So one of the machines, you know, stopped and raised its hand asking for attention. Well, we're preparing for our grand opening. So people are everywhere doing other stuff. I thought I would come out and take a look at it. So, you know, I can show you a little bit about what caught my eye. So I was looking at our, our, um, our production overview screen. This is software called ONTACT, uh, O-N-T-A-K-T. It's something that we, we wrote ourselves. And the machine we're standing in front of is LB3, L3PO. <laughs> uh, and this yellow line popped up. Now, I know that that yellow line is like a, it's a woe in the Karen world. Uh, nothing bad has happened. It finished making its cut, and then it says, hey, I used more power than I should have to make that cut. I think I'm a worn tool. So we call them wear alarms. So I can hop in and look at it. Now, before we got out here, the guys addressed it and they got the machine going again, but it's, uh, it's great to be able to step out here and take a look. So of course I can, you know, I can click on this alarm and I can get some additional detail. I can hop over and I can launch recordings of exactly what that tool saw. Now, I already pulled up one of the recordings. So this tool, um, it was a half inch end mill and basically it was going through its life in this blue section if the work had stopped before that blue section was completed, we would have called that a, an underwork. So not enough work to have made a good part. This normally means like I've lost a, a flute or I've lost a tool. Um, almost always bad if you don't get enough work to make a part. Uh, this green range is everything's just cruising, cruising, cruising. And then when we get into the yellow, it starts to add up. This is work over a brand new sharp tool. So on this one, we had a 100% limit. So the difference in horsepower between sharp tool and worn tool uh, is about double the horsepower, horsepower seconds. So the actual work done. So this one got over here and it tapped out at 101%. Raised its hand. Basically, uh, would somebody like to come take a look and tell me whether I'm good to keep running? So. The next thing that I do in that circumstance is I come back to our ONTAC software and I look to see where that tool was in its tool life. Uh, if I wanted 200 parts out of that tool, did I get 200? Am I close? You know, if so, somebody's going to change the part. Now this one, it's a half inch end mill. When I pulled it up, 110 out of 170 parts produced. Ooh. That is way too early to be getting a wear alarm. I should be getting a wear alarm at, you know, 170, 175, 180. But 110, that's not great. Now, the funny thing, we had called out the tool manufacturer to visit our shop because we had seen a uh, step change in their tooling from uh, between two batches of tools. Uh, so convenient timing all around. Uh, they were able to look in the machine and take a look. We were able to bring up recordings uh, of, the, uh, of the actual cut. We brought up recordings and overlaid them showing what uh, earlier cuts had looked like and how they used less horsepower. So again, CSI Austin, but now the tool manufacturer is taking real data home instead of just what they, you know, they always have to decide if you're just complaining or not, um, or if they're gonna take you seriously. But uh, people take us seriously when we pull the data together. Nathan, please do not drop the microphone physically. 
But guys, that was a mic drop. And that's <laughs> how you prove a point or convey a message. Nathan, incredible, incredible message. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. All right. Thank you, Tony. It's been great.